Hey guys, and welcome back to this week's edition of our Coach's Corner video series powered by the Best in the U.S. Showcases. We appreciate their support of the show. Go check them out on their website, bestintheusshowcases.com. You can find them on Twitter at B-U-S Showcase and find them on Instagram and Facebook at Best in the U.S. Showcases. And to the bus crew, we appreciate your support of the show. Welcome back to another edition of our Coach's Corner video series. And this week, we're going to dive into practice planning. Now, from the onset, let me just tell you, you do not have to do it this way. This is the way that we've chosen to plan our practices out and go about on a daily basis. We encourage you to develop some type of structure that you bring into your program. That's one word we really thrive on in our structure, but also consistency. We want to make sure the structure of our plan, our players can prepare for, but also the consistency at which it comes out every day at 1030. We want that in our team chat. That way our guys have time to prepare for what's in store for them at the field that day. We hope you enjoy the video. And as we flash up an example of a training plan from inside our program, we're going to systematically stop along the way, making sure we detail for you all the various elements within this particular plan. At the very top, we just think this sets the tone for the entire day. The date, the number of practice, the weather that we can plan for that day. What are we wearing? Our team wears the exact same thing as a group each day, whether that's a color shirt, shorts, or practice pants. But also the BP setup and early ground balls lets our guys know what might happen pre-practice or what we need to be prepared for within it. We also put a quote of the day, just something that sets the tone from an attitude or perspective for our guys. We make sure those are set every single day. As we get into the timing within this particular plan, the top part of this really for us never changes. We start every day at 1.30 with a classroom session, whether inside our team classroom, in our athletics building, or down in our third base dugout. We feel like this is one of the most important touch points we have with our players on a daily basis, whether that is communicating the day's practice plan, a guest speaker, a message for the day, or something that allows our team to bond. We feel like classroom is the perfect start for every day. We move from classroom in that 15, 20 minute segment into our mindfulness training, spending time slowing down and getting quiet. That matters to us to help our guys prepare for the mental side of the game, and we do this every single day. And then, of course, our team stretch. We move right from mindfulness to begin our movement patterns out on the field to get our team in motion, and we do that every day with our team stretch. Coming out of team stretch, we'll break into our two separate groups, and our position players will then move into something offensive, whether that's a meeting and sign review working on our base running that particular day or bunting there on the main infield. We'll also let the pitchers have time to go into their movement prep, their drill package, their arm care routines, their catch play, which gives us time on the positional side to work through offense, also do our J-bands, then play catch, so that hopefully around 315 or 320, we're staring at each other ready for a team defensive segment. When we hit this point in the practice plan, we love to come together and do a team defensive segment. What that's gonna allow us to do is see the position players and pitchers work together for all the various elements that we know show up in the game. We do a defensive drill series, which we've laid out for you before, three different segments of that that get all players involved across the field. We also do our triangle drill at this time, which we outlined a few weeks ago, that gets everyone involved. But it also could be a simple day where our pitchers just need to work on picks with our infielders. We're working on some type of bunt defense, things that allow our group to come together so everyone's on the same page, even if it's for 15 or 20 minutes, we get the entire group together. After this team segment, we split back into our two different groups. Position players will move into their offensive work for that day. The various BP formats that we have for our guys to develop within that have elements of base running, also defensive work, and making sure we're working on our swing and our short game. The pitchers will move into their work for that day, whether that's arm care or their bullpens, also allowing them to meet and work on sign review during this time. We're at the very end of the day, we meet back up together, and one thing we do in our program, no one picks up after a GGC player, he picks up after himself. We move into teamwork on the field. We make sure all the various points inside our facility are taken care of, making sure our players have ownership and why we have one of the best facilities in the country. At the bottom of our training plan, just notes for that day, whether there's something that we're looking forward to that weekend or things as we're planning, we want to make sure our guys are aware of that they can be expecting to hear about in the coming days. Once again, 
No one has to run their practice like we do. We just wanted to offer what we do inside our program to challenge someone to think differently about how they can make sure they're getting all the various work required to go win that last game inside of their training plan. Please reach out if you've got questions. We'll share anything we have with you, various training plan examples, formats that we use, or charts that show up in our program. We want to help. Reach out to us, guys, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Go check out our friends over at Best in the U.S. showcases the premier evaluation and recruiting opportunity for high school players around the country. They're offering top exposure, an honest opportunity, and the recruiting resources that players need to help fulfill their dream of playing college baseball. Go check them out on their website, bestintheusshowcases.com. Find them on social media and go connect with these folks. And again, to the bus crew, we appreciate your support of the show.